Hello, my name is Chris and today I'd like to talk to you about quitting smoking cold turkey. That is quitting smoking relying on only our own inner resources rather than relying on things like nicotine replacement therapy or drugs like varenicline which is sold as Champix or Chantix. We're going to talk a little bit about whether or not quitting smoking cold turkey might be the right option for you on your quit journey. This is the video I meant to share with you just before Christmas and then my laptop died and it was this whole terrible thing. So I thought we would come out here on this cold and frosty morning when you can literally see my breath and we would reshoot the whole thing. What I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to tell you absolutely whether quit smoke, quitting smoking cold turkey is the best approach for everyone or whether using nicotine replacement is the best approach for everyone. Because as soon as I say this is absolutely the best method, there will be somebody who comes out and has a compelling argument as to why it isn't. And the truth is I don't believe there is any one universal best method. I know people who slapped on a nicotine patch 20 years ago and haven't had a cigarette since. I also know that I am not one of those people. I tried nicotine patches years ago and I ended up smoking again within a couple of months. I also know people who extinguished their last cigarette and went cold turkey and again they went 20 years without a cigarette. I know just as many people who said okay I'm going to quit smoking cold turkey and three days later they were tearing their hair out and going back and started smoking again. And that's what ultimately all of this boils down to, it's what is, which method, which approach is going to give us the best chance of success in terms of avoiding starting again. Quite often the most difficult thing about stopping smoking is not stopping smoking. When we extinguish a cigarette we have technically, for all intents and purposes, stopped smoking. Unless you are smoking as you actually watch this video, in which case please do use an ashtray. If you are not smoking whilst watching this video you have already technically stopped smoking. And that in itself can be incredibly liberating, incredibly freeing. It's like, yes, we stopped. Now the challenge is to not start again. So when it comes down to deciding on an approach, whether we're going to quit smoking cold turkey or not, the reasons why we pick whichever approach we pick should come down to which one is going to give us the best chance of success in terms of not starting again. And whilst things like nicotine patches, lozenges, you know, Chantix and all that stuff, whilst they do have a lot going for them, so too does, you know, quitting smoking cold turkey. There are as many good reasons for quitting. This little branch is getting in my way, by the way. <laughs> there are as many good reasons for quitting smoking cold turkey as there are for using nicotine replacement. For example, it might be that you've used patches, pills, potions and lotions in the past and they just didn't work out for you. It might be that you tried Chantix and it made you ill. Or it might just be that you are fed up of putting crap into your body like no more. I don't want any nicotine or any substances in my body. I just want a clean break and a fresh start so I'm going to do this cold turkey. All of those are perfectly valid reasons for, for taking that approach. They're all perfectly good reasons. One reason for quitting smoking cold turkey, which is perhaps not so good, is to prove what a badass you are. There still exists this bizarre idea that many of us have that going cold turkey is the only way to be strong about quitting smoking that if we use nicotine replacement or other tools we are somehow weaker or less of a person 
than you know than if we went cold turkey I'm generalizing here but I see this a lot more in men than in women that you know as if we somehow have to prove our manliness by just gutting it out and you know even if it might be easier to use you know nicotine patches or tool or other tools we have to gut it out because we have to get to the end and be able to beat our chest and go look what a man I am I did it the hard way <laughs> let's knock that nonsense right on the head shall we there is nothing weak on there is nothing you know that makes you less of a person if you use nicotine replacement tools in fact it takes a lot of strength and an awful lot of humility to be able to reach out for ask for and use the help that is available to you it takes an awful lot of strength to ask for help besides who are you trying to impress the kind of people who are going to be happy that you have quit smoking are just going to be happy that you have quit smoking in the nicest nicest possible sense they don't care how you did it they don't care whether you went cold turkey whether you used lozenges they don't care if you hung upside down from your door frame in your underpants and had someone slapping you in the belly with a wet fish that's quite a disturbing thought let me never speak of that again <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is they don't care how you did it they are just happy that you've quit smoking and that you are free the kind of people who are going to put conditions on their happiness on their their love and support for you I would question for me I would question whether that's the kind of love and support I really need in my life if I say to someone I'm quitting smoking but I'm using patches and they say to me well you're a wuss I'll think less of you unless you quit smoking cold turkey I would maybe be like well okay you think less of me that's fine I don't need your love and support anyway I'll get the love and support of people who are going to accept me and support me just the way I am and just the way I need to do things like all of our awesome friends on the Finding Freedom Facebook group you don't even need to prove anything to yourself because you've already proven that you can get through the hardest thing that you have to go through I speak to so many of you who say Chris this is the hardest thing I have ever done and I don't know how I'm going to do it this is the hardest thing I've ever done and I'm not disputing that what I will say to you is that at some point in the past something else was the hardest thing that you ever had to go through and you got through it you know that meme that goes around the internet you survived 100% of your worst days think of that at some point you were faced with with a challenge that wasn't quitting smoking and at that point in your life it was the hardest most difficult thing that you had ever had to do and you got through it and you are here today so you've already proven that you have whatever you need within yourself to get through the most difficult thing in your life at some point something else might be even more challenging to you and when you face that you'll be like I got this I quit smoking and that was the hardest thing I ever had to do so I can do this too thank you so much for watching I hope you can see me I'm aware that my breath is very visible my breath is very visible and I hope it's not clouding the screen we'll find out when I go to edit this as I mentioned earlier please do come and join us in the Finding Freedom Facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash Finding Freedom 1 the link is down in the description below there is an awesome community that we are building supporting each other along our journey to being free from cigarettes there is a lot of love and a lot of support there however you decide to quit smoking in next week I am going to share about the opposite I'm going to talk about you actually using 
nicotine replacement and other tools and the benefits and the you know the downsides of those after that i'll be answering a question that i've been asked a lot over the last couple of months which is about starting exercise after quitting smoking if you'd like a sneak preview of that video i've already uploaded a shorter version to patreon patreon supporters can get access to that and lots more bonus videos downloads mp3s and other content for those of you who've been asking for other ways to support the work i do you can go to chrisscoils.com support i really do appreciate your support it means i have a bit more time to come out and make videos and work on projects that can help you and other people Having said all that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you next week.